Okay. So now it's working. <laughs> I just started this whole tutorial thing and it didn't work. Okay, so we're going to be doing a Google Forms for a rental application. You go to Google, and I think you have to have a Google email in order to do this, which is a good thing to have because then it saves to your email. So you go up here to Google Apps, scroll down to Docs, and I am on a MacBook, so it might look a little different on your computer. Um, we're ignoring everything here, and we're going up here to the left-hand top corner. The main menu go down to forms click on that and then i have one already made up and i'm not going to show you my responses but i have 14 right here only because of i call it hipaa rules or hipaa you know um and it also has people's addresses but you can see what i'm asking everybody i said and then you can change right here too this is what the place looks like and that's what they'll see. And I also have right side. And yes, this is the address. So, <laughs> um, But it says potential tenant info. First and last name. This is like the section that they're writing under. And then on the app, it'll be all these questions in one thing. And then it'll say next. And then it'll go to this. So first and last name, age, phone number, address. Do you rent or own? And then landlord's name and number. Current address, a reason for leaving, period of time at this address, one year or less, or up to five years, um, and then work, employee status, full-time, part-time, as needed, student, unemployed, and I also put stay-at-home mom because that's what I am. Employer address and annual income per year, and then how long you've been at this job, and if it doesn't pertain to you, then they can click that, and then we want to know if they have any criminal records that we should know of. Because it's good to know, you know, who's running from you and what they've done. Even though the past is the past, we still want to know. Do you smoke? We ask this because we do not want them smoking in the house. Um, we don't care if they vape in the house, but no, we don't, we don't allow smoking. I mean, they can still rent from us if they smoke, but it's just gross. Do you own any pets? If so, yes. How many? And the age and the breed. Because our insurance does not allow pit bulls. Stupid, we actually <laughs> kind of have one, so it's a lab pet. She's the best dog ever. You probably heard her woofing a little bit ago. And then this says who is all going to be living with them. And then their age, name, sex, and a relationship to them. And then we need a references for them. And it's, it must have four. And some people don't know how to read, and they'll just put their name with no number. It's like, now, how am I supposed to get a hold of them? Same way with the landlord thing. They'll just put their landlord's number, or their name, I mean, and no number. It's like, that doesn't help us at all. Um, where was I at? And then, can the minimum of first month, last month, and deposit, can and put be put down or whatever yes now if if more how much add to the next box down below so we'll put here and then any additional information you would like to add and i said anything you else you would like to add or ask if any of the following people who live with you are over the age of 18 they must fill out an application as well and the reason why we ask this is so that if they have a kid that's 18 years old you know, they might actually be paying rent there, so that's another income that could be added on to what they're making as a total group or family. So, and then also, like, if somebody else has a roommate, we want to know who the roommate is. So, I mean, we're not going to just let anybody rent from us. So, that's another good thing to add as well. But, like, you can make this totally your own thing. But, like I said, we have 14 responses right now. Um, I can't even click on it because I'll show, like, everybody's name and numbers and stuff like that. But, um, let me, let me show you a different one that I made just so you can see what the response thing looks like. Like, I was making wild butter cookies, and this is what the response thing would look like. Well, it doesn't have any responses, but it would, like, have their name and their number. Like, all these questions that you ask here will pop up. On the responses and then there I think it's like individual group or so, like all together 
and then as a group and individual or something. I'm not positive. I This is the first time ever using it, and the only thing I wish was different is it would actually notify you like on an app, and you can't even look at it on your phone unless you go to the website. So unless you um, have a computer, it's like the best way to use it is on a computer. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and please make sure to like and subscribe, and push that bell notification. Thanks, guys. Bye.